Hello Diamond Painters! This is Wanda from Wanda's Work Basket um, with, for all things creative and crafty with a little bit of inspiration mixed in. I have three unrelated unwrappings today. I'm going to do a Diamond Dots and this one is brand new, brand spanking new. It's Mystical Diamond Art and this one well, let's just say it's in Russian. Um, I have no idea how to. It's probably upside down for you too, isn't it? No idea how to pronounce that. And this one's probably upside down for you too there. Okay. Mystical diamond art. All right. I'm going to do the diamond dots first since I've had that one the longest. And the other two are brand spanking new. All right. <clears throat> this is a Van Gogh painting from Diamond Dots. So, it's copyright free. You've seen this, uh, you've, you've seen a lot of paintings that, that have, oh, <laughs> I, I haven't opened this one yet, huh? You see a lot of dime paintings that use this as a background. There's one with corgis, there's one with, um, a lot of different Starry Night by Van Gogh. A lot of different things with that swirly background. Okay. Ooh, okay. Add some sparkle to your world. Alright. Let's unwrap the canvas first. I mean, I call them unwrappings because it's like opening a present. Love it, love it, love it. Ooh, okay. This has quite a list of colors. I like that. It is poured glue. You can tell by the clear plastic cover. I like that. Ha ha, here we go. Here is the canvas in its full glory here. I'm going to check the fields to see if they are clearly delineated. Yeah, this is a confetti part, and I can still see all the symbols, all the different symbols. That's important because sometimes um, they use, since they're so little, they use symbols that are close together, not this company, but used close together. And in that way, um, like a C and an O and a G, they look really similar. And if you put them next to each other, it's hard to, to determine what really you're uh, putting down. Okay, so they come with a information sheet, which we don't, I don't really need at this point. I've been doing it for like three years, but I've been crafting for 50. Please don't do the math. <laughs> uh, let's see. Sorry for the crinkles. This comes with their, their kit with an orange squishy, and it's a round, hence dots. So I don't have a tweezer with that. I just have that. And these, I won't go through each and every one of them, but this is the stack of colors. I go in that. Oh, beautiful, beautiful colors. Oh, look at that yellow in there. Oh, the purples. Oh, awesome. The shine to them, is, they're very shiny. I'm looking at one of these. They don't seem to have trash in them, which means, you know, little bits and pieces of broken things in there as well. I don't even see any hitchhikers. You know, when you get a yellow one in the purples accidentally. Looks fantastic. So, again, Diamond Dots, Starry Night by Van Gogh, and I like the pure form other than all the stuff in there, all the extra stuff in there, and I'm going to wrap it back up. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I need the bag. 
Okay. Next, I'm going to do, I'm going to unwrap the one from Mystical. Done paintings. Sorry, I like to get them neatly packed away. My new company called Mystical Diamond Paintings. I haven't even broken the seal on this one. I got this last week. see anywhere on the outside any identification. Oh, oh, I'm wrong. Okay. This is a tree of life. It's a, what does it say, 40, 50? Round. First time I've, I haven't even seen anybody unbox one like this. <laughs> All right, awesome. Board canvas, very nice. We have 30 colors, and it looks like ooh, oh, beautiful. <gasps> Look at this. Look how beautiful. I'm going to show you a close up of the confetti over here. Beautiful. This is the logo. Love it. Absolutely love it. The obligatory tool bag. I really have to work on uh, getting rid of the many, many, many tool kits. I have sitting around. All right, where's the opening here? I found it. All right, instead of a strip of diamonds, these come pre packed in their own little baggie. Baggies, I like that. I have to do an inventory on one. Beautiful colors. I'm very happy with the colors. A couple of hitchhikers in there, but very happy with the colors. We have darks and lights. The bags are marked with their DMC and their Dumbo weight. I've never done this uh, brand before. I do not know if there's going to be uh, if there's going to be enough diamonds for the painting, but I am going to assume at this point that there are. Three more colors. No ABs in this kit. That's a dark purple, although I don't know if you can actually see that. It's number 550. DMC numbers. They come in DMC numbers. Ooh, purple and brown. These are awesome too. More green, more green, more green. More green. It is a tray after all, so of course it's going to have more rain. <laughs> a little bit of... Can you tell I like fall colors? <laughs> Years ago we used to... They used to call the doing your colors, like finding which colors are best to dress in so you don't look yellow or green. So people don't come up to say to you, oh, are you feeling alright? Or, wow! You look younger today. That's usually what happens when you wear the right colors. 
And for the most part, I know, you know, some don't believe in that, but I first was into clothing and textiles, and it made a lot of sense to me at the time. I dropped a bag here. It still makes sense. You know, you just look better in some things than in others. So my thought for today is to find a color, to find a color that people say, wow, you look good in that. Not just the style, but the color. And then try to work off of that color scheme. <clears throat> I know mine are fall colors, the jewel tones. Um, that's what I'm moving you here. So I like this kit so far. Like I said, I haven't made one from this company yet. So I don't have a reference to tell you how it went. But I'll show it to you when it's done. And this is the one from... Mm -hmm. Oh, 5D DIY. I might, and it's a bunch of flowers. It's 50 by 60. Yeah, it's a big one. It's a big one. Sorry, that made you nervous. Okay. Um, up to now, I had mentioned that poured glue is the way I really like to get them. This is um, a double-sided tape style. Let me do it this way. Yeah, I know. I'm going to roll, roll it first. See which way it's going. Oh, boy. I'm kind of disorganized the number here. All right. It says it's from the Sun Award group, so these uh, canvases are prone to have rivers in them. And when I start doing a kit that has rivers, I'll let you know so far. This is crazy, crazy sticking everywhere flower pot. It's like uh, abstract flowers. Oh man, look at the tiny, tiny field. I do squares mostly. So let me wrap this back up. Oh, if you find this curling when you get them with the paper like this, just, you know, smooth it back down. They will relax. They will relax. Now I lay them flat and I store them till I get to them. All right. <clears throat> There's instructions on this side of the canvas. I'll close down just a bit so you can see what we're doing here. Five DIY diamond painting. Apparently it comes from Russia. I could be wrong. Okay. This is what it's supposed to look like. abstract flowers. It has hmm, 40 colors and has a QR code. Huh. I wonder what that leads to. Probably to their the website to order more. I think I might have gotten this one on AliExpress. Okay. We have the obligatory kit. It comes with a tweezers. Oh, it came with the nine placer in there. That's fine. Aha! Uh -huh. I like these. Uh, it comes with a paper inventory sheet. That'll make it easier. Ooh! Huh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to find a different bag to put these in. This is all lost there. Nice. All right. This inventory sheet has a better picture of the painting, the finished product, and they list um, the order, of the color number order, they list the symbol, they see the DMC code, 
uh, how many bags you're supposed to have of each color and the number of each color you're supposed to have. I like these because they make inventory easier. They make uh, seeing the um, seeing the symbols easier. I like that a lot. I hope you can see the variety of colors in this one. This is a color riot. These little bags have about a hundred in them, I think. So they're all kind of separated by color. Each color has its own little thing. And you see this has 961 on it. It's hard to read kind of because it's in gold instead of black. So they were all in black so you can read them easily. But um, yeah. That way you can do an inventory very easily. Okay. A lot of colors. Blues, purples, yellows, reds, pinks, greens, browns, grays. Wow. I love a lot of color and I love a lot of confetti, so... <laughs> I'll take that out. I'll tell you anything for it. Alright, this just isn't going to behave. Get back in the way it was supposed to. ripping it more, aren't I? All right, well. So they, they don't go anywhere. Well, roll them to the inside. And I'll put them back in the box this way. And I'll show you two others I got that I think I got from AliExpress. Oh dear, well. Oh, their box comes with. Yep, from AliExpress. Happy, unhappy, and ooh, how to contact their media, and thank you, and there's a QR code in there too. So I'm gonna find out what that's all about. Probably at a later date. Oh, I gotta stuff that back in there are two more that did not come boxed, but they are, excuse me here, this out. Uh, here are two more, and that'll be it for this, for this unboxing. I've got some uh, Diamond Art Club kits, and I got some Shimmer Stitch kits to do, but they'll all be on different videos. I will start show, showing you some of my inventory and then some of uh, all right. I like landscapes. And that is what this one is supposed to look like. From DIY. Okay, I don't have that one in here. Uh, maybe that's the cottage and garden. I think that's the cottage and garden. Okay. It has, it doesn't list the number of colors, but it has quite a few colors, as you can see. I'm ripping it. Before I go to do it, I will cut this in several different places. Yeah, this is the cottage and garden. I'm going to smooth it out. I hope that those rivers don't. I hope they work themselves out. This must have been sitting a little bit because the paper is hard to pull off. Ooh, there's a big one. See this? These rivers, you have to take a little exacto knife to them and flatten them down. I flatten them down with the end of my tweezers, too, the rounded end of my tweezers, too. Um, it's confetti heavy, which I love. It's in squares, which I love. If, if the company has decent, uh, 
decent drills. And I love it. A lot of times the AliExpress ones I will get in round because I'm not certain how the drills will turn out. Oh, yeah, this one is, I call it the spa candles. See that? It's got a long list of colors, too. Yay! Okay, it's got some folds. Yeah. This is just not going to come. You don't mind if it comes off in two. Okay. Very sticky. Good sign. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here we go. See, you know, okay, I got these from AliExpress. Don't ask me which store. It starts with the Z-H-U. You want to look for it. But it took forever because of the virus to get these in. So I'm, I'm happy that the virus ones are turning up now. You can see the candles real clearly at the bottom. And they have some orchids. Candles and orchids is this one. I see some problems with the glue that I will have to address when I create with them. Yep, and the glue wants to stick to the plastic instead of the canvas here. Be very careful with that. I didn't really need to buy one <laughs> this big for this um, picture. I could have gotten it smaller. The more colors, you're going to get more colors the bigger you go. Because it, you can see, you can see more colors in the painting at that point. I'm just, again, I gotta stop unrolling this because it's getting yucky. Okay, I'll fix that when I get to it. There's a big bend in here. There's some places where the glue pops up. So, all right. <clears throat> now to look at the kits. Again, we get the same kits. The cheap tweezers, the pink goo, and two... Um, Two pens with, it looks like it has a seven place, nine place or dead end. That may or may not be. Oh, okay, good. This is the cottage inventory sheet. They come in the same way as the last one did. In the tiny little baggies with the numbers on them. I often put these in a big baggie, like this one came apart okay, but you saw the last one not. Oh, there's a bunch of little baggies to put your extras in. Come on. That's interesting. All right. Here's a better picture of what it's going to look like. And the full inventory of colors and symbols. So, yeah. Alrighty. In another video, I'll show you how my inventory is. I'll do a start to finish when we've done an express painting. I have some start to finish on a color relaxation uh, kit as well. Alright, that's the cottage garden. And this is the spa candles. Yeah, I'm not going to go through every packet of color. Again, these are square. Mm. Oh, lots of little baggies again. Interesting way they put them in there. Okay, here's the picture of what the spa candles is going to be. To look like. And there is the list of colors and symbols. Oh, I didn't have it out all the way. <laughs> it's such a simple painting, that many colors. 
I love color. Color has the, uh, the ability to make you happy, to calm you, um, to just like have you breathe a sigh of relief. Find colors that you love and they will help you de-stress if you paint your room that color. If you don't have the ability to paint the room, maybe. Maybe have that color curtains or something like that in, in an apartment. But try to keep color in your life. See how you react to certain colors that you see on the net. See how you react to certain colors in other people's rooms. That will give you a wonderful indication of what you like and don't like. Maybe even your style. All right, let's put this inside this one. All right, that wraps it up for this unwrapping. I have two other unwrappings to, to do in the next couple hours. So this is Wanda from Wanda's Work Basket. I hope you have a lovely week, and I will see you again soon. Bye.